Happy New Year! It is Sansaray Monique here. I appreciate you watching my channel still. It has been a tough couple of years for me on YouTube. I haven't been doing YouTube like I'm supposed to be doing YouTube. Like I just been, ugh. and for the past month, the past 30 days, the last month of last year, 2021, I posted a lot of old content. I posted a lot of my TikToks. A lot of my TikToks have gone viral, so I posted some of those on YouTube. I'm on Instagram and TikTok a lot, so I'm gonna try to be on YouTube a lot more. I'm try to go. I'm gonna try to be on Facebook a lot more. I've actually been pulling away from Facebook. I pulled away from YouTube because YouTube was causing problems. The black sector of YouTube is crazy. But I've been seeing some new content creators on here doing their thing, and I'm like, oh, oh you better do it. Oh, I checked out some new content creators recently because inside of my analytics it's telling me that my audience likes to watch certain types of content creators. So I'm going to list those content creators that my analytics says that my, the people that watch my channel like. So let's see. Can you see this? This is YouTube Studio. Okay. Inside YouTube Studio, it gives you a list of people that watch your content and what they are watching and so i'm going to read to you what they say the people who are watching my channel are watching okay so other channels your audience watches o'shea duke jackson who has 205 subscribers cynthia g who has 93,000 subscribers the lead attorney who has 126,000 subscribers the tommy sotomayor show <laughs> 28,000 subscribers. Wow, that's pretty low. Tariq Radio is 179,000 subscribers. Minister Jap is 45,000 subscribers. Storm Monroe is 200,000 subscribers. The Real Talk with Yanni, 187 subscribers. Leah Andrea, Leah Andrea TV. Oh, is this, um, she, what was her other channel? She had a channel called Lady, Ladies, I forgot. I don't know why my memory shot like that. <laughs> anyway, but that's Leah. I know who Leah is. Gossip Girl, 370 subscribers. JR Wisdom, which is 46,000 subscribers. The Crimson Cure, which is 53,000 subscribers. Tanya TKO, 190,000 subscribers. And The Celebrity Junk, which is 14,000 subscribers. Those are the channels that you guys are watching. Fix this. Well... some people I just can't relate to like it, it, you know some people are interested in certain things and I'm a little bit more positive than a lot of people that I used to be connected to on YouTube like I just went in a completely different direction than most of them decided to do with their content and I'm just doing something different and I took like such a huge break from YouTube after their rumor spread that I committed suicide or that I was dead or whatever so it's just like I just pulled away from a lot of the drama and a lot of the channels that you guys are watching supposedly as drama so me and O'Shea, I have nothing against O'Shea. O O'Shea is pretty cool. Um, we don't talk or anything. I don't. I don't think I've talked to him since I don't know. Um, maybe sometime last year. Um, Cynthia G. I don't fuck with her. She don't fuck with me. Um, the lead attorney. I don't even know who that is. Tommy. <laughs> Tariq Nasheed. I never really liked Tariq Nasheed like that. I always thought he was like. I don't know, he just seemed a little, uh, you know what I mean? With the hidden colors and the documentaries and the, uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, Minister Jap, everybody knows the history of me and Minister Jap. If you don't, uh, I don't even want to keep repeating this story. I think I told this story again a couple of months ago because people had like this belief that I, I don't know, like I must feel some type of way. I don't, I don't consider Jap like this big issue. You know what I'm saying? Like he may have been an issue when I was like, uh, press to be on YouTube or something like that but because I'm successful in so many different areas uh, when he tried to strip me of my success on YouTube because he wanted success on YouTube um it bothered me then but now it's not I mean he's still a little dude to me you know how you got people who you know you impressed by their success or you're impressed by their work ethic and their you know morals and stuff like that i have people on youtube that i look at and i'm like i love how they have morals i love how positive they are but then you have other people that you just that you not impressed by that's jap <laughs> like i just don't um start storm monroe i only watched one episode of storm monroe's um channel before uh, Real talk with Yanni. I used to watch Yanni. I don't remember what made me stop. It has something to do with, I think, the concept of marriage. Like, 
I have this thing about marriage where I feel like people should stop selling women the brass ring as if it's going to keep them safe from single motherhood because a lot of single mothers become single mothers inside of their marriage and then when the marriage is over they're still abandoned with children when these men decide to remarry or they start dating another woman and that's the reality of a situation and I, I think it's deeper than that well why I start watching Yanni but that was one of them Leah I just haven't watched Leah in a long time Gossip Girl I've never watched Gossip Girl J.R. Wisdom I don't think I've ever watched J.R. Wisdom The Crimson Cure I haven't watched that Tanya TKO I haven't watched Tanya's channel since she did her displacement diaries many many moons ago when she was homeless that was the last time I watched Tanya TKO and I'm just now for the first time hearing the celebrity junk so yeah I don't these are like new channels to me you know what I mean I don't do any of that type of content <laughs> <laughs> so you know how my views on my channel have gotten lower because I'm not posting constantly consistently anymore I'm like barely on YouTube and I don't post the same things that they post my videos be positive or they be talking about relationships I don't talk about race as much as I used to I mean somewhat I might talk about it but not to the degree that I used to like I used to talk about it a lot now I just kind of just eh, you know <laughs> I don't really talk about a lot of stuff um but that is going to change. I'm going to try to be more into my YouTube channel and get back in, you know, the swing of things like I was before. And it's been kind of hard because my mom has cancer, you know, so I'm taking care of my mom. I'm my mother is caregiver. And, you know, it's, it's very difficult to take care of someone who has cancer. It is extremely difficult. If you want to donate to her GoFundMe, please do. Her household is very separate from mine. I'm trying to pay her bills and mine. So when I'm asking for donations, they don't necessarily go into my pocket. They go into my mother's cancer treatment and her living arrangements and things that have to do with her life is very separate from my life. So I don't want people to think, you know, if uh, they're giving a donation to my mother, it has something to do with me. That is a separate thing. It has nothing to do with me. That's her life and what's happening with her life. I just help take care of her. Do I want the money? Not necessarily. It's just for her, you know, is what she's doing. I think she just won a settlement for a bad flu shot that she got a couple of years back. So hopefully that'll be able to help, you know, the process of what's happening with her. She has a lot going on. So um, I asked her to come on camera a couple of times, but she hasn't really felt up to it. You know, it's kind of hard to speak to people when, you know, you don't have any hair and you're not feeling well and, you know, she can't walk. Um, so she's kind of like in a wheelchair and with a walker. Like sometimes she tries to walk with a walker, but she falls all the time. So I'm just trying to tell her, get rid of the walker altogether. And it's interesting to see the difference in how my mom is now versus how she was before. Because before chemotherapy, even though she had cancer or there was a sign of cancer, she seemed to be okay. You know what I mean? Like it, she was just functioning fine. Like we never would have known she had cancer until she got mammogram and got checked for it. And then once she got the mammogram, it was like, oh, you have breast cancer, you have triple negative breast cancer. And then they put her into chemotherapy and chemotherapy is what really destroyed her, you know? And I had negative feelings about chemotherapy. I didn't want her to get chemotherapy. I was thinking of a holistic way to, you know, try to um, make sure they kill the cancer cells because they did cut the cancer out of my mom's breast. So I thought, hey, if they cut all of the cancer out, then she could like get healing in another way. But they went ahead and took her through chemotherapy. And now our next phase is radiation. And that is a whole nother like thing. And I just feel like my mother's body is just not prepared for radiation and she needs to heal uh, slowly first. She can't even walk. You know, she barely wants to eat. I have to force my mother to eat just a banana. You know what I mean? She some days she just skips a day. If I don't stay on her about eating, she'll skip the whole day. So it's just like cancer to me is just uh but chemotherapy is killing people too. And radiation is supposedly something that gives you cancer later on. So it's like why would you give radiation to someone when you're trying to get rid of cancer, but you're giving them cancer, another form of cancer. So it's just like it's just an endless cycle, you know what I mean? Like, there's no cure for cancer. You can remove it from your body and be done with it, but it can, you can still get into remission. It can still come back real hard. So it's just like, Jesus, you know what I mean? Like, God, it's a lot to think about, you know? It's a lot to go through. And, you know, I just want people to keep an open mind when they do, you know, go to my GoFundMe and they see my mother. 
um, and my sister. My sister is actually the one that's running her goal for me. Can't wait for this just portion of my life to be done. This is like very hard. It's been taking me off focus of work and the things that I want to do, the goals and stuff, the things that I want to do with my kids. It's just a lot of work. So anyway, I digress. Anyway, I appreciate y'all watching my channel. I'm going to take video suggestions again like I used to, video topic suggestions like I used to. I don't know if I'm going to keep talking about relationships the way that I was. I think I'm going to talk about money. I love talking about money, you know what I mean? Like, money's my shit, you know what I mean? Like, I love talking about investing and wealth and stuff like that. So I might talk more about that on this channel, but the true crime stuff will be over on the Premium Hustle. Maybe I should just talk about wealth and stuff on the Premium Hustle. Let me know in the comment section what you think I should do, okay? Also, let me know out of all of the YouTubers that I listed inside of this video, tell me which one of them are your favorite, okay? Have a vision and stay focused. Namaste.